Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and I can't tell you how excited I am to share this new product with you today. This has been in the works for many months and has now come to fruition. If you've been a subscriber to my channel, you already know that I love to create card sketches and figure out ways to get the most out of my supplies. With my quarterly card making challenges, I show how to take six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper and cut the papers efficiently so that you can create a bunch of cards and have little to no scraps. I've been doing the challenges, designing card sketches, and creating cards using the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kits for over three years now, so I've had the pleasure to work with Michelle, the owner of Pink and Main, for a while. Many months ago, we were chatting about how it would be nice to have a die that would cut an entire sheet of six inch by six inch paper in one pass so that we didn't have to worry about cutting the papers to certain measurements. So I designed two dies where the shapes and pieces could be combined to create a bunch of different layouts. And I also wanted to include some shapes that you wouldn't be able to easily cut with a paper trimmer. And that also includes stitching to give the pieces an extra decorative element. So I'm excited to introduce to you this bundle called Card Cut Essentials Dies 1 and 2. It is now available for purchase at Pink and Main. Not only do you get two six inch by six inch dies that can be used on a full sheet of six by six paper, but you also get separate dies in a variety of essential shapes needed for card making. There are different size hearts, stars, and hexagons, all with stitching, and these can be layered up or used separately. You also get a quarter inch banner and a half inch banner, plus some additional stitch layering banners in the shapes that are cut out from one of the large dies. It also comes with a word and shadow die that says hello in a scripty font. Now, these dies are available to purchase individually, but when you purchase them together in the bundle, you also get a bonus. You'll get access to download 56 card sketches showing how you can use the pieces that are cut out from these dies. Yes, I said 56 card sketches. That is a lot of card ideas. And I have to tell you, the sketches included in the download are awesome. I'll go ahead and show you the products I'll be using for my cards. This is the paper pad called Be Kind from Pink and Main. And I've selected coordinating cardstock from my stash. I've selected two coordinating patterns, the teal and the yellow polka dot pattern, and this plaid pattern in the same color scheme and I'll be using both dies to cut these two pieces of paper out. I'll show you really quick how I cut these out with my Spellbinders Platinum 6 manual die cutting machine. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And while I cut these out, I will tell you a little bit more. You can use any die cutting machine that has a six inch or larger opening. I usually use my Anna Griffin Impress, which is an electric die cutting machine. So I don't have to crank the handle like I do with this one. But I did want to show you that it will work with this size machine. And I also tested cutting these out on a Sizzix Big Shot machine. And they work great with every machine that I've used. And since I don't have a magnetic mat for this Spellbinders machine, I'm using some low-tack mint tape to hold the die in place as I run it through the machine so it doesn't shift. And I apologize for the shaking of the camera here. I normally um, use a, a different table. So this is attached to my camera. So it, it is a little shaky. Sorry about that. But so um, as you can see here, it has cut out all of these different pieces. Now the dies are slightly smaller than the six inch paper, just so that they'll run through the machines without having any issues. So you will have a border that you can throw away. But um, these are all the pieces, and now I'm going to cut this other sheet with the polka dots using the other die. And as you can see here, this edge here has some zigzag pieces. Um, so if you want to be able to cut two zigzag pieces that are about the same size, you'll want to line up the edge of the paper with the edge of the zigzag part on this die. And I will cut this one off camera to, so that I can avoid all of the shaking. So on this one, before you throw away this border piece, you'll want to cut off the zigzag edge and save it just in case you want to use this piece also. So most of the pieces on this die also have the stitching details just like the other one. 
all of the squares and the rectangles have stitching and you also have this fun window piece here. As you can see there are a lot of different pieces here and there are so many different things that you can do with them. In addition to the 56 card sketch ideas that you'll get from Pink and Main when you purchase the bundle, I've also created even more sketches for you. So I'm offering a freebie that includes six card sketches using the pieces from these dies and this is available to download over on my Patreon page. You don't have to sign up as a paid member to get access to it. You just need to join as a free member and all you need to do to join as a free member is enter your email address. But this freebie shows how to use all of the pieces that were cut from these two sheets of paper and so because of that I'm calling this printable a two sheet wonder and I'm numbering it number one because I have some other ones that I'll be releasing over the next few weeks. If you want to have even more variety you can go ahead and cut additional patterns with the dies that are part of your coordinating paper pack and you can mix and match the pieces and that's exactly what I have done as you can see I have paired up two patterns together from that paper pad and what I'm going to do is make a bunch of sets and I'll be able to use the different patterns on different cards. So not just the plaid and the polka dots together, I can pull in some of these other patterns that have the same colors. So I will be sharing additional cards and a few other Two Sheet Wonder files in the next few weeks, so make sure you're a subscriber to my channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. So here I've already cut up all of my papers using the dies and I've sorted the cut pieces from each pair into the cellophane sleeves and of course all of the papers coordinate so I'm going to use my coordinating cardstock to cut some layers and I'll even use some of these for colored card bases but like I said I'll have lots more ideas to come. I also take some of this colored cardstock and use these additional separate dies to cut out all of these shapes and I'll be ready to make a bunch of cards. Having all of this cut in just a matter of minutes makes card making super easy. So in the next few days and over the next few weeks through September, the Kendra's Card Challenges design team will be sharing even more card making inspiration using these dies on social media. We have an Instagram hop that starts August 16th and runs through August 22nd. Plus, we have a YouTube hop starting on August 17th. You can have a chance to win a prize for both of these hops. With so many shapes included in this bundle, the possibilities really are endless. Now I won't be showing the process of how to put these cards together in this video, but I will share a few of my finished cards. To decorate them, I decided to use the Pink and Main Stamp of the Month for August 2024, and it's called Happy Fall. I also have this stamp set called Just Because, and I used a couple of the sentiments from this stamp set as well. And I also used the Hello There stamp from another stamp set from Pink and Main that I had in my stash. So these are all of the cards that you can create with my freebie, the Two Sheet Wonder number one. And this one has the three little bees with the sunflower, and it says, Have a beautiful day. And then this next one says just because and it has three of the little bees from that um, stamp of the month set and I did color these up with some Copic markers that match the colors in the papers and I did create another one of this sketch and this one also says just because but I also I used one B instead of the three and I just love these colors together and then the next one is um, I, I lost the footage I don't know what happened here so here's a picture of the next sketch and I did create two of these and I'll be showing how to put that card together here in a future video and I used the hello word and shadow die for this one and this next card here I used a an embossing folder for the background of this one and the sentiment is a foiled sentiment from one of my bonus printables and then we've got this one here that says Hap B Fall and I did color the sentiment in with a Copic marker that matched the card base. So here are all of the cards that you can make with the Two Sheet Wonder. Now it is six sketches but as you can see I did make multiples of a few of these. Now I will have the link to download the freebie down in the description box. 
This will take you over to my Patreon page where you can join as a free member to get access to the download. And the links to purchase these Card Cut Essentials dies are also listed below. And these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. You will want to get these before they sell out. Then once you have them in your craft room, you can craft along with me and members of the Kendra's Card Challenges design team in our upcoming videos. I will have a playlist specifically for projects made with these dies, and I will link that in the description box as well. And I will add more videos to this playlist as we get them in, so please be sure to check that out. If you are a subscriber to the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard kits, these dies will be great to own since you already have the supplies you need to create a set of coordinating cards. I also encourage you to join the Pink and Main Creations Gallery Facebook group and share your projects there if you're not already a member. And I will also be creating a photo album in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group where you can post photos there as well. I'll have this link below in the description box. I hope you're as excited as I am about these dies and I can't wait to see what everybody creates with them. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know you stopped by by leaving a comment and I'd love it if you could click the thumbs up button. I hope to see you again soon and have a wonderful day. Oh, <laughs>